call me in because you missed me or you just wanted to bust my chops? Well, somebody started the party without me. I just found out about Kate, the real story. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Thank you, Derek. Well, that's not the reason for this visit, is it? I need to ask you two some questions. No. No, you won't answer? No, I didn't kill Greg Madden. That's what you wanted to ask me. Dixie didn't kill him either. So, there it is. Roadside bar next week. I'll buy the first round. Dixie, after you. Slow down. My questions are about J.R. and Jamie. Well, Jamie's on his way to medical school. And J.R. has his hands full with my grandson. Thank you for asking. But, uh, how's Danielle? And their little sister's missing. I assume that must be hard on two proactive young men like Jamie and J.R. Yes, it's been um, hell on everyone, but we're getting through it. We all are. Get to it, Derek. The night Greg Madden disappeared, Jamie and J.R. were together. Brothers hang out together, so what? They hang other things, too, like Josh Madden in a meat cooler. What? Not a chance. Not, not the boys. Why would they do that? Use Josh as bait for the old man. We'll take Josh off the meat hook if you tell us what we want to hear. You have nothing. I have J.R.'s shiny monogrammed pen from the crime scene. I also have an anonymous tip regarding J.R. buying a transceiver. That's slightly more than nothing. It's nowhere near something. As far as evidence goes, circumstantial or otherwise, your boys are in the lead. Look, just leave them alone, okay? They didn't... They didn't do it. It's not their fault. Oh, I'll just tell the DA that's riding my back their mommy said they're innocent when he asked me about making an arrest. Look, you want an arrest? You've got one. Are you saying you killed Greg Madden? He was buried on purpose. His death was accidental. Go on. What are you doing? Doing what has to be done. No, you're not. Stress insurance is over right now. Come yeah, on. I have cuffs. You want to wear them? Sit no, down. Come on, shut Derek, it. you're practically telling her to lie. What's more, you know she'll do it. Because she's the kind of person, if she gave a damn, she would do anything she had to do to cover for the real psychotic who put Madden in that box. Just a name. Give me that, and I'll take care of the rest. Well, for what it's worth, it's not JR or Jamie. I'm begging you. You can't do this, please. Not for his sake. You think Dixie's protecting someone? I think Dixie should give it up. Especially if it means covering for that. Give me a name. Ted, you don't know what you're doing. A name, damn it. If you start this, there's no going back. SK. Ugh. Who is SK? The son of a bitch who buried man alive. He's had a lot of experience. You know what? Am I under arrest? Because if not, I am out of here. You have no right. I have every right. What are you so afraid of? That you're going to be next? If not, you should be. Because this guy can't get enough. Madden's is not his first human sacrifice, not by a long shot, and he's not going to be the last. This bastard lives for one reason and one reason only, and that is for the kill, okay? Not only that, he's not happy unless he gets up close and personal while he does it. He's capable of anything. He'll pretend to be your pal, your best friend. Something reliable, something, something nice and comfortable, like the first car you ever owned, or some childhood pal you hiked railroad track with, or some big fluffy dog you, you cuddle with on the sofa before he turns around and tears your heart out. The maniac's not going to be happy till you're on your knees begging for mercy, just so he can laugh while you do it. And you're willing to let this guy remain on the loose? You think you can stop him, Ted? Shut up now before it's too late. It's already too late. We both know it. Now it's sick, Derek. I'm staring you right in the face. I can't believe you didn't see it already. And probably because you're just as scared as the rest of us. My advice to you is to sleep with the lights on. That is if you can sleep at all. Red <laughs> You son of a... You rampaging murderer of Stephen King. You, you think this is a joke? I told you not to tell him. <laughs> Here's Johnny. You want to get slapped with obstruction for that Stephen King stunt? A man was buried alive and suffocated under a mound of dirt. That's a homicide and I need to nail whoever did it. So go out there and nail him. Find them. But you leave J.R. and Jamie the hell alone, because they didn't kill Matt. They don't know who did. Meaning you do? Oh, come on. Do you really want to go through that again? You will not play games. 
with my investigation. We are not here to play with anything, Derek. We got enough of our own problems. But one thing we're not going to do is stand by and watch you railroad our boys. They didn't do it. Move on to your next suspect. I suggest Dean Coons. Chief Fry, what is it? Wow. You are good. Mm. It's a crime how good you are. What are you talking about? You were there with me the entire way. This is true. At least we still have that, huh? You sure as hell do.